Hi, I'm going to be talking about congressional pay and benefits. Um, so we're going to talk about the pay of a congressman is $174,000 currently. They cannot give themselves a raise in their current term. They have to give their pay raise to a future term. So it's one where they might not actually be elected. So it's not in the session, but it's in the term. Uh, the party leaders get $193,400. That would be for majority leader, minority leader, majority whip, minority whip, and other leaders. The Speaker of the House is a constitutional office, and the Speaker, Paul Ryan, gets $223,500 a year. Some benefits, um, the members of Congress get a pension, they get Social Security, they get airport parking for free at uh, Dulles National and other airports. They get an on-site gym in Congress where they can have 24-hour gym service. They get a lot of days off. I think one year they actually, the House of Representatives worked 100 days, so roughly about 239 days off. Airline flights are free when you go back and forth between um, Washington, D.C. and their home district and if they're doing anything for business. They get about $1.2 million to $3.3 million for staff and office. Depending on the staff, some uh, people might have 22 staff members. They get travel expenses for work, for traveling between their home districts. They get death benefits if they die in office. They get health care, and some people say it's a pretty good health care system um, where it's better than the average person, but they do have, um, a lot of them have decided to sign up for Obamacare and go through the federal exchanges. They pay less fees on banks and uh, stock transactions. They have lesser trade restrictions than you and I might have for like insider trading and things like that for stocks. Their responsibilities are basically to serve on committees, uh, to obviously do oversight and uh, do research on laws. They're also there to pass laws, make laws, uh, know the laws, and then serve constituents. And what that means is serving constituents is if I have a problem with Social Security or Obamacare, I would talk to my representative or my senator. Um, I know some students have gone to the academies, the Naval Academy, the Air Force Academy, and they've needed to get letters from their senators, and senators would do that. So these are like serving constituents. So they have many responsibilities, but the main one is to basically pass laws and make laws for the country.